Hi, my name is Patrick Reagan. This series of videos, CompTIA's A Plus Introduction in Computers, is the first series of the CompTIA's A Plus certification videos. The Introduction to Computer series will introduce you to the computers and give you an overview of how computers work, including hardware, software, and data, bits and bytes, and computer architecture. The first video of this series was called Hardware, Software, and Data. This video covers bits and bytes, which are the blocks of data that computers use. Now, computers are digital devices that process information in discrete form. Discrete means that it is separate or distinct. So with computers, the discrete forms consist of zeros and ones. While the zeros and ones can be translated into any number that we want and vice versa, when a computer is processing data, it's using all zeros and ones. In computers, a bit, which is short for binary digit, is the smallest unit of data that a computer can process and store. A bit can either be a zero or a one. If the computer uses switches to process data, the switch is either off or on. Therefore, the off switch represents a zero and the on switch represents a one. For an electronic chip, a no electric charge represents a zero while the electric charge represents a one. For magnetic hard drives, spots of north magnetism represents a zero and a south magnetism represents a one. Unless you're representing off and on settings, a bit is usually too small to be much use. A byte is a group of eight bits. One byte equals eight bits. A byte represents eight separate on off switches. 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1 is one such example. Sometimes when presenting bits, spaces are added for readability, similar to using commas to separate thousands, millions, or billions for numbers. For example, in decibel numbers, the normal numbers that people use, 4301 would be 4,301 for easier readability. So, to make binary numbers more readable, you would divide the binary number into groups of four binary digits using spaces. If you have one bit of data, you have two possible combinations, either a zero or a one. If you have two bits of data, you can have four different combinations. If you have three bits of data, you can have eight different combinations. If you have four bits of data, Again, it doubles, and now you have 16 different combinations. So for each line or bit that is added, the number of possibilities double. So for five bits, again, we double it again, so it goes up to 32 combinations. Six bits gets us 64 combinations. Seven bits gets us 128 combinations. And eight bits gets us 256 combinations. For example, if you have eight signal lines as shown below as off and on, the off represents a zero and the on represents a one, zero zero one zero one one zero one represents the value of 45. The zero zero one zero one one zero one is the binary number that only consists of zeros and ones. 45 is the decimal number that you understand that has digits ranging from zero through nine. As an FYI, 4 bits is known as a nibble. It is used to define a hexadecimal number which consists of 16 characters 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, but also includes A, B, C, D, E, and F. So a byte or two nibbles define two hexadecimal numbers. While a byte is not the smallest unit of data, it is still quite small. So usually bytes are usually expressed as kilobytes, megabytes, gigabytes, terabytes, or petabytes. 
In the metric system, kilo represents a thousand, mega represents a million, giga represents a billion, and tera represents a trillion. But in reality, data is based on binary numbers consisting of zeros and ones, while metric system indicates round numbers based on 10. Therefore, computers, when discussing bytes, they are based on 2 to the nth power. 1 kilobyte, which is 2 to the 10th power, is equal to 1024 bytes, so it's more than 1000. 1 megabyte is equal to 2 to the 20th power, which is more than a million. 1,048,576 bytes. This does cause confusion in the computer market as you may buy a hard drive that is one terabyte and you find out that the drive literally has one trillion bytes. However, when you connect the drive and you're ready to use it, it only shows 931 gigabytes. The marketing people of the drive use the one trillion bytes based on the normal metric system because it is a bigger number while the operating system is using numbers based on the binary counting, which only shows as 931 gigabytes. Take a minute or two to study this screen. This shows one kilobyte is 1024 bytes, but it also shows how the megabyte, gigabyte, and terabyte are broken down based on what the computer sees. A text file is a basic file that has characters including upper and lower case letters, digits, and special characters such as punctuation. It does not include any formatting or formatting characters such as the boldface or underline and does not include pictures. Text files are often used in configuration files such as files with INI extensions or reg files that are used in Windows configuration. Programmers will write their code in text files. You can export a text list from many systems and programs while maintaining the columns of data by specifying a special text file called a comma separated values or CSV file. This comes in handy when you're sending data from one system to another which may store its data differently from each other. If you need to modify a text file, you can use Microsoft Notepad which comes with Windows or VI and Nano which comes with Linux or you can download and install Notepad++. Word processors and spreadsheet programs such as Word and Excel can save files in text format, although you have to use the Save As and select the appropriate options. For each character that you add to the text file, each character takes up to one byte of data. Therefore, if you type in the word data and save the text file, Data consists of four characters, and therefore, the file represents four bytes of data. By the way, if you press Enter to specify a line break, the line break is represented by two bytes of data. If you create the same file with the same word in Microsoft Word, the file is 12 kilobytes because of formatting such as paper size, fonts, and styles are included in the file. If the character takes up one byte of data, and the byte takes up eight bits of data, you have 256 different combinations of zeros and ones, which means you can have up to 256 different characters used in your text document. To store text as binary data, you must specify an encoding for that text. Most of the time, you don't know about the encoding because it's selected for you thanks to the programmers that make up the programs. Computer systems can use a variety of character encoding schemes. You can think of the encoding as translating between characters that we understand, such as the numbers or words, and a binary number that the computer understands. As long as the data stays on the computer, it is really unimportant how it is encoded. If you move the data from one system to another, the second system might need to translate the data to an encoding it knows. 
In 1968, the ASCII, American Standard Code for Information Interchange, was adopted as the standard for encoding text for data exchange. There are 256 different ASCII characters, each character is represented by an 8-bit combination. The first 32 ASCII characters were used for data transfer. The rest of the first 127 characters were used for the upper and lower case letters, digits, and regular punctuation marks. The original ASCII character set was only 7 bits, 127 characters. Eventually, ASCII extensions were added to add characters for the pound sign for British currency and common characters found in German, French, Spanish, and other European languages. Later on, double byte character sets were created that used two bytes of data to encode a character. Since two bytes has 16 bits, it could define up to 65,536 characters, which included publishing symbols and can support other languages such as Japanese and Chinese. Since each character is represented by two bytes of data, data would take up twice as much space as an extended ASCII document. If you ever want to look at the example of a character set, you can open up the Character Map program, which is included with Windows. For example, if you select the Arial font and scroll down through the characters available, you will find close to 65,000 characters and glyphs. Eventually, 4-byte character sets were created, which can have up to approximately 4 billion characters. For more information about bits, bytes, and characters encoding systems, visit the following sites shown on the screen. So let's do some review questions. Question, how many bits are in a byte? Answer, eight. Question, how many bytes are in a kilobyte? Answer, 1,024. Remember when dealing with bytes, a kilobyte is approximately a thousand. In reality, it is 1024 because it's based on the binary of two to the 10th power. Question, what is the order from smallest to largest? Answer, kilo, mega, giga, tera, peta. In summary, computers are digital devices that process information in discrete form. With computers, the discrete form consists of zeros and ones. In computers, a bit, which is short for binary digit, is the smallest unit of data that the computer can process and store. A bit can be either a zero or a one. A byte is a group of eight bits. One byte equals eight bits. In computers, a kilobyte is 1,024 bytes, while a megabyte is 1,024 kilobytes. A text file is a basic file that has characters including upper and lowercase alphabet, digits, and special characters such as punctuation. The ASCII, American Standard Code for Information Interchange, was adopted as a standard for encoding text for data exchange. There are 256 different ASCII characters. Each character is represented by an 8-bit combination. Thank you for watching this video. Look for parts 3 and 4 of this series. The next video in the series is CompTIA's A+, Introduction to Computers, Part 3, Basic Computer Architecture. 
Thank you.